Working in the vehicle's interior, remove the bottom of the parking brake lever using a plastic pry tool. Then pull the parking brake lever boot to detach it from the center console. Pull it up and over the handle. Check that the parking brake lever is in the released position. Then release the cable tension by engaging the service lock. Press the spring with a flathead screwdriver until the hook locks the spring in the compressed position. If the parking brake lever is not fully released, you will not be able to engage the service lock as indicated by the green arrow. Using a long flathead screwdriver, engage the parking brake service lock. A small hook will grab and hold the spring once properly engaged. Green arrow. Move to the rear wheels. Using a flathead screwdriver, slowly press the brake caliper piston in. This allows the brake caliper to be pulled off the brake rotor easily. You will be forcing brake fluid back into the reservoir, so check that to make sure it doesn't overflow. I like to pry between the outer brake pad and the brake rotor. This way, there is less chance of damaging the caliper piston. Working behind the brake caliper, remove the two 16mm brake caliper mounting bolts, green arrows. Remove the brake caliper with the bracket from the wheel carrier and hang using a piece of metal coat hanger. Never allow the caliper to hang from the brake hose. Using a 6mm Allen bit, remove the brake rotor mounting fastener. Then remove the rotor from the hub. Green arrow. If you live in a four season climate, sometimes it's best to do this before removing the caliper so you can have someone press the brake and hold it to free up the mounting fastener. Next, unhook the lower return spring from the parking brake shoes, green arrow. I like to use an old pair of diagonal cutters with worn out cutting jaws. Grab the spring, pull it down, and unhook from the brake shoe. Using a long 5mm Allen bit, remove the parking brake shoe retaining clips by rotating 90 degrees and pulling away from the brake shoes. Each shoe has one clip, green arrow. Remove the parking brake shoes from the vehicle, then separate the remaining parts. Inspect the shoe adjuster, check that it moves freely and it is not damaged. Then lightly grease the brake shoe to backing plate contact points, green arrows. This photo shows the front contact points, Apply grease to the area for the rear parking brake shoes also, but make sure you do not get any grease on the pads or the inner hub. Install new brake shoes in the reverse order of the removal. Reinstall the brake rotor and brake caliper and adjust the parking brakes once the wheels are installed and tightened. Please follow the link at the end of this video for further instructions on adjusting your parking brake. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.